Hi, in this video I'm going to create a basic geographic heat map. And this is using Excel 2016. Now in this particular version of Excel, it's called the 3D map. In maybe a previous version of Excel, Excel, probably Excel 2013, it was called Power Map. When you think about it, this is more of a visualization feature. Uh, if I wanted to look at some data, this is data from uh, power stations off of a Microsoft site. This is some sample data that they provided. And if I wanted to do some analysis, I could probably put this into a pivot table. Uh, Alt NV, create the pivot table, and maybe I want to look by county and by capacity of megawatts. These are my values. And let's sort this not by the alphabet, but by the highest to smallest. And we see Jefferson County, Mar Maricopa County are kind of the big hitters here. Now, if I want to see this visually, I can put this into a chart. Let's just take the first chart it gives us, click OK, spread this out. And this is our basic chart to kind of give an idea. So there's another way to do that. And of course, that's through a geographic heat map. So what would that look like? Let's take a look. So here is that same set of data. We've got uh, our county and we're, we're looking at the county and we're looking at the capacity of megawatts. And you can see here, it's given us a visual heat map of which counties uh, have the most megawatts, right? So it's summed it up in the red. You can see in California here, you can see in Arizona, some parts of Texas here. So this just is just another way to visually chart out something and looking at it through a geographic map, map of the United States in this instance. So I'll show you how to create something like this. So here I have the data. This is the same data that I had in the previous sheet. I just kind of put it into a new sheet. And some things to think about when you want to use the 3D map feature in Excel 2016 is there's some specific formats that it can use to plot out the map. Uh, that includes latitude, latitude, longitude, street addresses, city, county, state and province, zip code, postal code, country, and region. You can see here I've got a couple columns that have that kind of data. We have got state, we've got county. So what this does is it goes online and it kind of figures out using Microsoft's uh, mapping utility, Bing, to kind of plot this out. Now, what it does is the power map automatically detects this and matches the columns of the data and it kind of puts it into the geography fields. And this process, they, they call it geocoding. And there are conflicts that could occur during this process. For example, uh, power map may show some error messages that let you know couldn't map out some of the geographic fields. And th this could happen when there are several uh, locations, and maybe in this in this example, counties that uh, in different states. So you'll you'll notice that, and I'm going to show you later on that uh, there's a specific county here, or there's one of many, but I'm going to highlight one, Jefferson County. It, shows up in different states. There's not just one Jefferson County. So if you were to do this, if you want it to be exact, you probably want to look at different um, column fields that will help you kind of further narrow down the location. You know, state, county, zip code, uh, latitude, longitude, those can help. Um, so let's get into how we create this. It's actually pretty easy. I've got my data here, and all I need to do is go under insert, and go to 3D maps and create a new map. And it's going to take a while to bring it up. Uh, look, and it, it's kind of picked up the location. So it's kind of picked up county and state as the location. And if you had other things in here like zip code, it will probably put that in there. Now, by default, it uses the uh, stack column chart. So you can see that in the data there's different there's different visualizations we can use. The stack column, we've got this cluster column, we've got uh, these bubbles, and of course for this particular video we're going to do the heat map. So I'm going to select heat map. And now after that's changed, you notice that things have changed here. If I if I had to default here, it had height and category and time. We won't go over those, but for when I do the heat map, it changes to value, right? And so the only value I really need in here is the the data value for the megawatts, right? So we're adding something where it can count or sum or average. And that's something that should have a numerical value in there. So the capacity, the capacity megawatts, that does. So I'm going to select that. Let me close this field list. This is basically something that we can add. We can kind of put in here too, but let's not have this there. So you can see that it's kind of built it in already. 
this tour thing, we don't really need to worry about this because we're not going to do a, a tour. What this happens is you can put different scenes here, one, two, three, four, five, and you can actually kind of almost make a slideshow out of this, but this is not the extent of this video. We just want to show you how to create a, a heat map. So I can move the, the earth around a little bit so I can get a better view of the United States here. I can kind of make this a little bit smaller. Just click the plus sign and minus sign to get into that uh, zoom in, zoom out. And what I can also do is I can have, if I wanted to flatten out the earth, I can flatten it and make it kind of a little bit more, um, less rounded, less curvy, right? So let's kind of make this a little bit smaller. And so I have my little heat map here. If I wanted to, to put some additional things like some, some text here, I can add a text box and I can call this uh, megawatt usage in the US, All right? Click create. I can make this a little bit bigger and put this up here maybe. Maybe put this one down a little bit here, All right? maybe make this a little bit smaller. So there's there's a lot of things you can do here uh, in terms of just kind of initially getting that set. Also, so you notice earlier, I also had a, a bar chart. You can actually also put a bar chart in here if you wanted to. If I click on that 2D chart, you can have that here and I can move this over here and it gives you some additional data points. You know, if you wanted to, in addition, put a little uh, stacked column chart here, you can, you can move the the scroll bar here it gives you a little idea of how many counties are included in there and I can close this to make this a little bit bigger so it gives you a lot of different ways you can see your data not only can you see your data with a column chart you can see your data mapped out in a nice little heat map and it'll give you some idea of which areas have the most usage uh, also, and the kind of nice here is we can have some map labels. If you notice, that if I click map labels here, it will label out different parts of uh, the country, right? You got Oregon, Oregon, Idaho, Nevada, etc. So there's a lot more that you can actually go into this, but this is just how you can create a basic heat map. So you don't have to keep this in Excel. You can also take this out and put it into a PowerPoint slide. What you can do is just click on that, do a screen capture and go into something like PowerPoint. Let's go into PowerPoint. So here I'm here in PowerPoint. It created a screen capture. I just go back, go to home and click paste. And you see I have my map here. Let's make this a little bit smaller. All right, it kind of made it a little bit big. So I can just put that in here, make that a little bit smaller there. And it basically is just a, a screen capture. Let's make this zoom it back uh, in and we have our heat map now. So that's kind of a nice feature. You can just save it to the clipboard and copy it into PowerPoint. So if we wanted to change things back, we can go into our layer plane, our layer pane, and maybe we want to do it by state. I don't know why we want to do it by state. You don't really get that good, good um, visualization if we do it by state, but, but we'll go by county here in this particular example. And it gets a nicer visualization of the different uh, parts of the United States where uh, megawatt capacity is utilized. So that's an introduction on how to create a geographic heat map using the 3D mapping feature in Excel 2016. It's called Power Map in Excel 2013. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.